What? Do you want to sow those seeds? Yeah. Okay. This got really big, huh? Yeah, really big. Lots of tomatoes are starting to get big. Those are patty pan squash. I think that's a great thing to plant. Okay, put them in. Grow. Right here. That's basil. That's basil? Mm -hmm. Good job. You okay. recognize that picture? Yeah. Willy nilly, huh? Oh. Come on, I need help, Mom. Oh, there it goes. You got it? Put them in. Go for it. <laughs> What'd you sow? Beans. Ooh, what are those? Flowers. Zinnias. Zinnias flowers. There you go, that's good. Okay, where are you gonna put them? Wherever there's space. A hard soil. Hard soil, yeah, it's a little dry. So I just took all of these seeds and sowed them throughout the empty spaces in the garden completely recklessly. Now I'm gonna make a list of what packets I used because I'll be able to tell things apart in seedling stage. I can tell like a sunflower from a zinnia, from a bean, so on and so forth. However, I won't know what variety it is. Um, so I will make a list of what all I did bring out here. And that way, if I get stumped on anything or like when I'm doing tours, if I don't recognize what it is, I'll be able to reference it so I can tell you guys. What are you excited about that you sowed today? What? What are you excited about that you sowed today? What seeds are you excited about growing? Basil. The basil. I thought that was your favorite. We've been getting little sprinkly showers here and there. Uh, you know, like just quick summer thunderstorms that come in and go out with less than a half an inch of rain. But it's supposed to rain like through the night today. So I'm getting all of these in and I'm not going to water them in um, because I think that they're going to get watered in by the rain. In the morning, I'll check the rain gauge, and if by some chance those showers pass us by, then in the morning I'll bring the hoses down here and I will water everywhere we put seeds, which is kind of everywhere. So that would be a big undertaking. So I keep taking more seed packages, just sowing them. <laughs> this may be the most reckless thing I've ever done in my garden. I'm very measured. And I am like, I sow things and then I wait till they come up and then I sow some more around them and I do not waste seeds. <sighs> I can't tell if this is exhilarating or terrifying. <laughs> Maybe it's both. <laughs> hey, I've got something you can cut. You're wanting to cut on something? Yeah. Okay, uh, go get the harvesting basket out of the greenhouse. Grab the basket down there. Okay, I've got a job for you. What is that sound? They're doing the artillery at the base. It's okay. Benjamin really loves to prune the plants, but since that's not something that I want to do the we horses. can just do whenever we feel like it, uh, he prunes the grass whenever he so has the urge to prune. So you can see that this is mint yeah. and this is lemongrass. So I want you to cut the lemongrass, okay? And put it in that basket. Now look at all of this that's volunteering all around. You got it? Oh, it fell right in. Perfect. So let's cut that down and we're going to cut it all the way down to the ground. All right, so we've got a basket full of lemon balm and actually this big space, which you can see, I've cut this down pretty brutally. I have so much dried mint in my house that I don't really need to put up any more of this. So I'm just going to leave it alone for now. I may cut this back and just go ahead and hang some of it to dry in the house. The lemon balm I'm going to use to make honey medicine. I'll show you guys that. But uh, this space, this big gaping hole here, there's lots of young lemon, lemon balm coming up here that now I've cut all of the big stuff up. All of this will grow right back. This will be full again in no time. If there is a proper way to prune back or harvest mint or lemon balm i don't know it um it's one of those things mint and lemon balm both are so evasive that i haven't been able to kill them on purpose and so i don't really concern myself too much with killing them on accident uh like that i 
can cut it down to almost nothing multiple times in a season and it grows right back. Wow, look at this nasturtium. It is covered in flowers. We need to get to eating on this. I think Ben's back to pruning the grass. Mm. Nasturtium is spicy. I can really only eat so much of it. Why do you think the food makes a fun pants, but I don't? You're learning how to. Hey, are you going to be a gardener your whole life? Even when you're a grown man? Yeah. <laughs> Benjamin has enlisted Toby to help prune the grass. Grass pruning is the gardening equivalent of snipe hunting. And um, I teach my kids very valuable life lessons in the garden. And I think that they garden, you know, probably better than most of their peers. They spend a lot of time out here. But the truth is, is that sometimes mama just needs the grass pruned. Wow, you guys are doing a great job pruning that grass. I'm really liking this exact view of the garden right here. I always end up with my favorite little nook every year. This patch of zinnias here that Natalie sowed in these queen lime mixes. I like these. Aren't they beautiful? I'm ready for these butterfly peas to take off here. You got the lemon balm, dude? You ready to go inside? Mm -hmm. Little garden pruners. Yeah, so we don't get wet. That's right, it's about to start raining. Hey, look at my roses, they're coming back. The orange roses. Mm-hmm. Spiky. I'm happy to see Mommy, blossoms the, on those the again. Baskets. We're gonna let it rain and we will come back out. Okay, let's go make some honey medicine with this lemon balm. I like to make this syrup with lemon balm because I think it's a little more versatile. And essentially, lemon balm smells really lovely. It smells like, it reminds me of lemon heads. Like it's just like this really sweet lemony scent. And what I do is I came in and I just stripped this lemon balm, you know, took the big stems out. And I don't, you don't have to be like meticulous about this. Some of the little ones are still on stems. I just needed to be able to spin it in the salad spinner to get it good and clean and then fit it all in a pot. Some of those stems were big. Some of the main properties of lemon balm is that it is one, is very good for digestion. So upset tummies, uh, bloating, indigestion, and then also for anxiety. Um, and so we make this syrup and call it honey medicine. And essentially it is lemon balm that's cooked down in water. You strain the leaves out and then you add honey and you keep it in the fridge. It's, that's very the basic of it. And what we do with it is like, sometimes we'll, if somebody has an upset tummy, we make like a ginger tea, uh, like a tummy tea, and we sweeten it with the honey medicine, the lemon balm and honey. And so you're getting that medicinal property of the lemon balm this honey it was working as a sweetener and you know we're drinking the tummy tea that's one of the ways that we do that and i just buy like you know digestion aid tea bags i don't make that um and then the other thing that we use honey medicine for it's getting close to bedtime and the kids are overtired or they're fussy or whatever and it's like okay do you need a spoon of honey medicine and it's it's honey with lemon balm in it and so it tastes really good they're happy to take it and then they're getting that lemon balm that has that calming effect now oh, you could probably find other uses for this. I'm just telling you that that's how we use this in our house. Sweetening teas, um, not always medicinally, sometimes just because it tastes good. Um, I've also seen where people took some of like the syrup, the, the honey and lemon balm mix, and they mixed in like soda water to make like a sweet drink. So you could totally do this, like that has nothing to do with the medicinal properties. And basically whenever you're eating a lot of food from the garden and a lot of plant-based stuff and you're eating a lot of herbs, you might be enjoying it for the culinary taste or whatever, but you're getting those medicinal properties because real food is medicine. So I've soaked this and then spun it in the salad spinner just to make sure that it's getting clean. And I'm gonna go ahead and put it in this pot here. Uh, that's at least a couple of cups of leaves right there. And I'm just gonna cover these with water. 
So now I'm just gonna put this on medium low heat. That's about four and a half or five cups of water on this two and a half to three cups of leaves. You can see this is very exact science. And so I'm gonna cook this down. I just called my friend Lauren to like double check <laughs> to make sure I was giving you guys good instructions because this is one of those things that I've been making this for years and this is how I've done it. And when I'm just doing something from my own household, I don't usually second guess it because I'm like, okay, this is what we do and this is what works for us. But before I tell all of you, and I have thousands of people following my instructions, I wanna double check and make sure that I'm like, wait, this is right, right? So I called Lauren because she's got like a lot of knowledge in herbalism that I do not have, and I just wanted to double check. So here are the basic instructions for honey medicine. Way that I learned this was in a much smaller batch, and I'm doing more because my lemon balm grows massively, and so I'm typically cutting down two or three cups of leaves at a time. When you get started, and you can double this as needed, triple it. You take about a couple leaves, put them in a pot, cover it with water, which is typically gonna be about a cup and a half or two of water. I just put two to three cups of leaves in there and covered it with five cups of water. Then you're gonna cook it down. Um, put it on medium low, partially covered, and it will take between like, like a really small batch is done in 10 minutes. Um, it's gonna simmer down and that liquid's gonna reduce by half. Those leaves are gonna shrink up uh, pretty quick when they get hot, and, and the liquid's gonna reduce down. This batch is probably gonna take a little bit more than that because it is a larger batch, it's more water, uh, so probably around 30 minutes for this batch. When that cooks down, I'm just gonna strain those leaves out, and then what I do is I get raw local honey because that has benefits on its own, and you do two parts of that lemon balm tea to one part of honey and then you mix it up and you it's thin it's it's not super syrupy uh, that makes this very sweet lemon balm tea and that's what honey medicine is and like i said at that point you can mix it in as a sweetener and just use it like you would honey um, or you can take it by the spoonful give it to your children by the spoonful being that it does have honey in it do not give it to children who are under a year old um, because children under a year old can never have honey but other than that you do not have to be concerned about like overdose that's the beautiful thing about food medicine is that overdose is not an issue if you are trying to take it for like stomach upset or something like that like it's better to take herbal medicine frequently than it is to take it in larger doses. So if you take a spoonful of that and then a little while later your stomach's still upset, you take another spoonful rather than just, you know, trying to make it super strong or chugging half the jug at once, like, because that's not necessary and that's a lot of honey. So let's let this cook down and I'll give you guys a look at it here whenever it's ready. All right, so here's my mixture. It's down to about three cups. This was a big batch, so this took probably a little over 30 minutes. After, um, after about 20 minutes, I strained these leaves out and then let it reduce down just a little bit more. So three cups, which means I'm gonna put a cup and a half of this raw honey in this, and I'm just gonna mix it together into a mason jar. This is when I wish that we had our own honey soon. Right. Sometimes when I'm doing stuff like this, I'll start trying to look through the camera screen and I'll like spill it. Not paying attention to what I'm actually doing, trying to make sure I got the shot right. All right, there it is. It could use a little bit more mixing. You see the honey's kind of settling on the bottom. But that's honey medicine. As you can see, it's uh, it's not super syrupy. Well, you know, we call it a syrup, but it's it's still pretty liquid. That's it. It is really that simple. Um, you could try to get fancy, throw other herbs in it, whatever. But I like to keep it that easy. I think it's really versatile that way, and I just store it in the fridge. Now, as far as like how long does that last? Um, as you can see, that was a pretty big batch of that. We've got a big family, and if it looks like we're not going through it quickly, we just start using it to sweeten like black tea. Just throw it in tea, it's got a good flavor. And so you could make like just sweet tea using that as a sweetener to get through it. I never have any problem using even that much. And 
I'll probably use that just within the next month or so. And during the time the lemon balm is producing so much, um, I can cut it back every few weeks and make another batch of honey medicine. But uh, this is just dry lemon balm. That's where I took a big harvest like what you saw for this batch of, of syrup. And I just hung them up to dry, just like that. And then stripped them off the stems and, and stored it in a jar. This is actually from the lemon balm that I harvested in the fall. Um, and I had a couple of gallons of this dried. And you can do the same thing with the dried lemon balm, just cooking it down and uh, making a syrup out of that. I hope that helps. Um, sometimes sharing things that I've done for a long time is kind of hard because I'm like, I don't know exactly why I do it this way and I have to kind of go back and refresh. But if you're overrun with lemon balm, you definitely have options on how to use it and it is a great thing to grow. So thank you guys so much for hanging out with me today. I bless you. Until next time.